So let's see how this little script works. Let's suppose we have a scene where characters are running around, interact with each other, and uh, and of course the, the setup probably would be that the arm are following the the body even if they are in, in IK. But sometimes like this other character that maybe is fighting, sliding down, need to stand up and then start running once again. Of course, this setup with the arm in local with the body doesn't help in this moment where he needs to push up I put some keys here just to let's see what happened. Because if we need to change, for instance, we want here the root to be already a bit higher. Of course, the, the arm is gonna up with it. So it doesn't work. And because it's in a local with a root, we cannot just copy the curve here. because it, it copies the its own curve, but it's always been relative to the to the root. You always will move. Let's take a look at the graphator to understand better what happened. So here the curves are flat. It means no animation, but actually the, the arm is going up because it's parented with the, with the root. So of course this is the case when we want we probably would change the space in the in the arm to make it uh, word and uh, but we need to bake or maybe if you don't have this feature we need to uh, put a locator or stuff like that and, and we bake and then if after this moment the character uh, needs to run once again we need to do the the opposite to bake it back in order that he, he follows the the body once again this tool is uh, helpful right now because just temporary copy the word space of this position of the arm. So I can choose to, to use keyframe, uh, translation or rotation. And if I like this pose, I just go in the pose that I like, I want to pass in the next one. So I, I do this one, just one click and it snap back to the other position. So it's perfectly there. If we have some kind of rotation here, maybe it's pushing somehow and we want to keep it, we can just choose to, to use the translation and we will have the rotation still available. Okay. If, if we take a look at the graphator, we see that the curves are no more flat because our uh, it needs to compensate basically the, the motion of the root to keep the end uh, flat there. We see there is a, if there is some kind of noise in between, we can put another key or we can also go frame by frame by uncheck use key frame and just go next. So this just for a few frames, five frames, it allows us to have the perfect connection with the ground. And then we can once again, start keep animating as we need. I also put a UL filter here because sometimes when we use a rotation between keyframes, sometimes if we see there is something weird in the rotation, we just apply the with the selection, we just apply the UL filter and it will uh, will fix it probably. And uh, this is uh, uh, one of the situation where this can be uh, useful. Let's see some uh, other example. There is this character that is running, changing direction. And maybe we want to add the slide here to have more uh, dynamic in the action. And it's nice in the feet. It's sliding and then 
start running the opposite direction. But we, we want to have the, the hand a bit more steady in this bar instead of sliding so much to sell better the, the graph, the push. So we can use this one and we choose maybe the second frame and because it's frame by frame already. We do frame by frame. And the end is perfectly there, grabbing the bar. But what we, we, we lost here is a, the nice shape of the wrist with the forearm because there was the rotation also, check it. So it's, it's perfectly there, but maybe it will work better if we just use, let's go back. We just use the translation and keep this kind of rotation that the wrist is doing. So we redo the same with just the retranslation kit. And now the it doesn't move anymore up and down to the bar, but it keeps the rotation alive. So in much more steady, and this is the case where choosing if uh, if uh, check or not the rotation, or just also the translation sometimes it, it can help. And of course, with this tool, we can fix any sliding fit. Of course, let's see now another example where uh, this tool can be useful. Let's say we have this character doing uh, some kind of rotation. Maybe just rotation. And the opposite, the other side. It's cool. Perfect. If we want to keep the the head looking forward, like we probably would do, let's keep the let's put some keys also for the head. And uh, of course, uh, if there was an option to put in word space, it would be easier. But in this case, there's no option, or maybe it's a moment of a shot to where we just need now to have in more space. And uh, once again, uh, this tool avoid us to do debate, to constrain, um, to change the space that sometimes can be can be time consuming. If we need for just for a amount of, of time, we can use this one without breaking anything. So we cannot copy and paste the curves because it's uh, are all flat. All these rotation are flat because are relative uh, relative to the body. So we need to animate to do this and then this. And of course, we won't be very precise. So what we want to do with this tool is to check just the rotation, even because there's no uh, translation, and just say we want to keep these pose also for the next and the previous frame. So I can go backwards this way. And you see that already snapped it in, in position. Let's snap it the other way. It just one click and it does the job for us perfectly in, in the same position. And of course, if we take a look at the graph editor, the curves are, uh, are not flat. It does, it, it needs to compensate the the rotation of the body to keep the head steady looking forward. So this is another example where this uh, tool can be really useful, can be really, can help us save a lot of time and hassle doing apparent constraint, baking and stuff like that.